Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah. Welcome, I'm so glad to have you. Today I'm going to be doing the What I Feed My Toddler in a Day video, and it's actually going to be a collab with two other women. The first mama in this collaboration that I wanted to introduce is Justine from Mama Justine. She has the sweetest little girl and she produces a lot of lifestyle mom life videos similar to my content, so be sure to check her out. Next mama that I wanted to introduce is Marissa from Rissa's World. Her channel is super fun. Her content has a lot of mom life and normal lifestyle videos and then she throws in fun challenges just to kind of mix it up a little bit. So be sure to check both of these ladies out. I will leave their links in the description box below. Also, I figured just as a little bonus, I would throw in my latest grocery haul from Aldi. I had not been to Aldi in forever, and honestly, I was a bit disappointed because the selection wasn't very great, but I figured since I was talking about food, I would just go ahead and throw that in, so that will actually be at the end of the video. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in to what I feed my toddlers in a day. Okay, so for my 14 month old, we are going to do one of these. I got these at Aldi. It's just a strawberry like Nutri-Grade bar and some banana. I've realized if I cut up his banana, sometimes he's more likely to eat it. He's actually not a huge fruit eater, which is so weird because all of my other babies have been. But this is what he's gonna start with and then I'm gonna get his milk. This is Grant, he's 14 months. Hi. What do you see? What do you see? Yeah. He likes to look out the window in the morning and eat his bite bites. I'm gonna get his bottle. I actually just nursed him for the last time last night, so usually he would nurse in the morning, but we're done with that. And it makes me really sad. So I'm still giving him his milk in a bottle because that's the way he seems to drink it the best. And he has sippy cups for the rest of the day. But I just use this almond breezed unsweetened. Sometimes we do original, sometimes we do vanilla. He'll drink either one. He used to be super picky and only drink the vanilla, but he hasn't seemed to mind the last few days. We do almond milk because cow's milk was too strong for his stomach and he had issues with diarrhea. So we just do almond milk when our babies are this little. There go. You gonna drink your milk? He wasn't wanting to eat his banana, so I just sprinkled a little bit of this, of this granola that I use in my yogurt on top of it. And I'm gonna see if I can get him to eat it that way. Do you like the granola? Do you like it? Say it's all trial and error at this age. The granola trick did not work. He's just eating the granola. Like I said, he's just not a big fruit eater and I guess bananas just have a weird texture. Hey buddy. So for my two year old this morning, he is getting a Dunkin' Donut, because we had some left, some pears, strawberry, and then a vitamin C gummy. Hey, big boy, you ready to eat? Uh huh. You got donuts. What? Mummy, mummy. Okay, it's lunchtime, so I'm just going to do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Grant actually just gets plain peanut butter, and then I do just a tiny bit of jello or jelly for my two year old. I'm gonna do some blueberries and I think some chips of some sort. Okay, so here's his lunch. He has some barbecue chips. He loves barbecue chips, both of them do. Just a squeezy applesauce, peanut butter and jelly, and blueberries. Hi, baby. Is that good? He's just having 
his milk. This is still his same milk from this morning. He didn't finish his entire bottle. So he's gonna finish that up for lunch. Hi. And then Davis is over here eating. He's watching a show. He's having a little bit of apple juice to drink. No! While I have them seated for lunch, I thought I would just show you some of their favorite snacks and things that I always have on hand for my toddlers and my preschoolers. You need more juice? I'll get you some. Hang on one second. So in this bin, I usually keep bars of random sorts. So we have these this week. And then they love these Belveda banana bread bars. We also have some Z bars. I usually get the iced oatmeal cookie. They weren't a total fan of these. So I'm kind of just keeping those for when we have like friends over if any of those kids want them. And then raisins or yogurt covered raisins are always a hit. Oatmeal is also a big hit. Um, you just have to like let it cool down. I always put like one cube of ice in the bowl once it cooks just to kind of cool it down. Um, down here, I always keep these mini muffins. Um, back here, apple pie is for my five-year-old. He loves those. And then we have squeezies, usually at all times, and fruit snacks. Not for Grant, but Davis really likes fruit snacks. And then down here, I just keep an assortment of like fruit cups. So we have oranges and we did have some pears. I think we finished off the pears though. And then obviously chips and goldfish are a staple. So those are some of their favorites that I like to keep on hand at all times. So I'm actually editing this video during nap time on the day that I recorded it. So I'm not going to film dinner. But for dinner, we are having tacos and the toddlers will both eat those. Um, they actually love tacos. It's one of like the meals that I can make and know that everybody in my family is going to be happy. So tonight will just be your regular ground beef tacos with some corn and fruit and probably like chips and salsa. My two-year-old likes chips and salsa. Grant actually likes spicy food, but I have not given him salsa yet. But that's what will be for dinner tonight. Hey everyone, I just got back from the grocery store and I figured I would just go ahead and do a quick grocery haul for you. Today I actually went to Aldi for the first time in a long time and I have to say I was kind of disappointed because they did not have everything I needed and I feel like the prices went up. So I spent $72 there I think and I'm going to just show you what I got really quick. So the produce department was super disappointing. They only had two containers of strawberries and I got this one and the other one was molded, so there wasn't much selection at all. So I got one container of strawberries, one thing of blueberries, some bananas. They did not even have a head of lettuce, so I just grabbed some shredded lettuce. And then I got a bag of gala apples. This is probably the only thing that I was like happy about in the produce department. I got that whole bag for like $2 and some change. Um, and then I got some yogurts. These aren't the kids' favorite, but I got some strawberry and blueberry just in case they run out of the yo play this week for lunches. And then I got some more coffee. I've never had this brand before, so hopefully it tastes good. I usually get the donut kind from Kroger. So I just got it from here. Got some more mini muffins, um, chicken broth. Then I got two containers of just squeezy apple sauces and one strawberry Nutri-Grain bar. And then I got a container of pears. Davis has already got some of those. I needed some more um, onion and parsley, so I grabbed those. We had bought some steaks last week at Costco, and I love goat cheese on my steak, so I got some goat cheese. Got Paxton his apple pies. He loves these. Um, some more tortilla shells. And then I got some blueberry muffins for Nick. I also got um, this. This is a knockoff of the Betty Crocker, and it's really, really good. My kids love this. So I went ahead and grabbed that while I was there. Some saltines. And then these are a knockoff to the Girl Scouts peanut butter patties. And these are my weakness. This is actually 95 cents for this entire container of cookies. And I love them. Then I just got some more vanilla yogurt, goldfish. I will say that I do love all these chips. They have great flavor. So I just got original, barbecue, red burritos, and blue burritos. And then I got two Gatorades two apple juices, two milks, and I got this almond milk there. This is actually from Walgreens because Aldi does not carry the lemonade that my family likes, and I had forgotten to grab fries while I was at Aldi, so I just went ahead and grabbed that. And then over here, ignore my messy house, I got some Coke because I'm really having a weakness and I can't seem to give it up. Um, 
some mini wheats and cinnamon toast crunch. And then I just got a loaf of bread and some hot dog buns. I hope that you all like this video. I will go ahead and say that being a fifth time mom, I don't necessarily put a ton of thought into my kids' meals every day. And that's probably not a great thing, but I can remember when I had my first, like really just thinking about breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, making sure it was well balanced. And it's not a good thing that I'm not that way anymore, but that's reality. I have five kids, nine and under, and three of them being five and under, and I, I just don't really think about it, honestly. And I really don't like to cook either. So like food's like not my, not my thing, but I do try to make sure that I do present different foods to my toddlers every day and hope that they will eat them. But I hope you all liked this. I hope you liked the little grocery haul thrown at in at the end. If you're new here or visiting from Justine's or Marissa's channel, please leave me a comment below and let me know that you stopped by. And thank you all for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you on the next video.